Hi everyone, my name is Kyle and today I'm going to show you how to animate a hidden menu prototype using Envision Studio. Animations are a great way to add realism to your prototypes as well as enhance the user experience. In this tutorial, I'll show you the end result first and then walk you through exactly how I created the animation and then dive a little into the timeline editor as well. I have this finished prototype here, this finished animation. We'll just go ahead and preview it so you can see exactly what we're going to, going to recreate. So a hidden menu is obviously a menu that slides from off the screen or off the device into view. It's been popular for many years in mobile apps and even in websites and web apps. So I'll click on our menu icon here so you can see what happens. So we have a couple of different things going on here. We have a white menu background that comes into frame. We've got some text links that come into frame. The menu icon itself animates a little bit, a little fun sort of rotating animation into an X or a close icon. And then all of the elements on our feed here are being pushed out of the way. So let's take a look at how we could recreate this animation. Exit the preview. I have copied our feed here and I'm not gonna recreate this entire design. I'm just gonna recreate the menu, the interactions and the animations and show you exactly how you can do that. One of the important parts of Studio, one of the ways that you can make everything in your life a little bit easier when trying to animate is first, you can see here that I've named all of our groups and all of our layers. This will just make it easy because Studio looks at layer and group names to decide what needs to change, what needs to animate. Another tip is to go ahead and create all of the views or all of the different screens that you need before you start animating. So in our example, I'm gonna duplicate our feed here. I'm gonna rename this menu to and I want to go ahead and build out our menu on this page and then copy and paste it onto feed two so that everything works really nicely together. So let's get started building. So in our second screen, our second view here, we need a, back, a menu background and some text links. So let's go ahead and recreate that. You'll also notice up here that the menu and text links themselves are actually behind our close icon that animated. So what I'll do is just to go ahead and try to keep things organized, I'll click on photo so that the next layer I create will be on top. I'm gonna click R on the keyboard and drag out a rectangle. Then we'll give it a little bit of styling. I had just a white background and then I am a big fan of really big, soft shadows. So I'll do 40 blur, zero on the Y axis, which is the up and down. And then to go to the left, I'll need some negative X axis and then softening it even further by lowering the opacity to say 10%. Really subtle, big, soft shadow. All right, now we need some text. Uh, but before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and rename this menu BG for background, just to keep, like I said, keep things organized. Then I'll click the, or hit T on the keyboard to bring up my text tool. Then I believe we had, and we'll just recreate this, profile saved, profile saved, add friends and settings. Hit escape. Then we'll add some nice line height here. 40 looks good. And just, you know, just position this. Uh, that, looks, that looks about right. Okay, so now we need to think about what is different on this page that fr from the feed page. I'm gonna drag this over a little bit just to give us some room to work. So one thing I know is that I need, I want all of the content on the page to get pushed to the left. So I'll select logo and our two photos, and then I'll just shift and drag to the side. So all of this will move at the same time. That looks good. One thing you'll notice is that the logo, this little oval here, 
is actually on the paste board. It's not inside of our artboard. And that's an easy fix. Sometimes when you move things a little bit too far, it gets sort of taken out of the artboard and put on the paste board. But you can just grab that layer and then we'll drag it down into menu two. And now it's nested under the artboard. You can see that it's no longer visible on the pasteboard. And that's important because Studio needs to know that this logo needs to move, but st also stay on the artboard, which means it gets hidden. Another thing that happens in our animation is the menu icon also moves over in this direction. So we'll select just that menu icon and just shift and drag and line it up right there. Okay, so our basic elements have been moved. What we need to do now is get our menu over onto feed two. So to do that, I'm just gonna do a little bit more organizing here. I'm gonna drag the text layer just above the menu BG layer, select them both and group them using command or control if you're on Windows and G and then command R to rename and we'll just call this one menu. So what I'll do now is I will grab our entire menu group. I'm gonna copy it and go over to our feed artboard, click on photo, just so that when I paste it, it goes above photo and under the menu icon. Like I said, we want that menu icon on top of our menu. Now, we need to move this off of the screen so that the difference between our feed artboard and our menu artboard is that the menu slides onto the screen. So I'll just shift and drag this off of the artboard a little bit. You could butt it right up to the edge, but like we've got that little shadow and you might be able to see that a little shadow is still in frame. Okay, so now we have our elements arranged on our two different views. I know that when I'm on my feed, I want it to look like this. And I know that when I am on my menu, I want it to look like this. Studio is gonna handle all of the in-between. So let's hook up an interaction and see how this thing animates. So I'll click on our menu icon in our feed artboard. I'm gonna tap C on the keyboard to create an interaction and then click on menu two. I'm gonna set our trigger to tap because this is a mobile prototype. Our transition is motion and duration. I have found that 0.5 seconds is pretty good, but obviously you get to play around with this a little bit. So let's click save. We'll go ahead and create a second interaction. I know that I wanna be able to tap the menu icon on the menu artboard to go back. So I'll create an interaction backwards and just make sure that all the settings are the same so it's the same forwards and in reverse. All right, so our basic animation is done. Let's let's take a look, let's preview this thing. So I'll click on our feed artboard, click on our preview icon up here. Brings up this nice device, just a setting here in Studio. Appearance, device, and I can change the model. All right, so let's take a look at, what, at what's happening. So I'll tap on the menu icon, and look at that. Everything moves nicely out of frame, nicely into frame. You can see that the photos move, the background moves, and the text comes in. Really, really good, but basic start to our animation. So let's dive a little bit into how we can make this animation a bit more fun. In the original prototype, we have a menu icon that animates, that rotates a little bit to form, the, to form an X versus just sliding into place. So I'll come over here to our menu icon, same group name, same number of layers, and let's do a little bit of rotating. So I'll start with our middle rectangle and I'm gonna do a negative 45 degree rotation so that it rotates counterclockwise. Then I'm gonna select the top and bottom rectangles and I want them to rotate even further so I'm gonna do negative 135, and these are just values that I figured out beforehand. Now I need to line them up to form an X, so I'm gonna click just on the top here, and I'm just gonna shift drag down until I get those, those auto align lines, and then move the bottom one up to match the top. Now I've got this really nice X. 
Let's zoom out a little bit. We'll go back into our feed artboard to preview this and let's see what Studio has done. Look at that, a really nice little rotation animation. And that was really simple. You can see that because I had the same layers, the same group on the feed artboard, when I rotate them on the menu artboard, Envision just handles all of the animations in, in that between state. The second thing I did on the original prototype was I had the text fly in at a different pace than the background just to add some visual interest, kind of draw the viewer's eyes to those links. To accomplish that, we don't need to change any position or anything on our artboards. We're going to edit the timeline of our animation. So I'll click on the menu icon back on the feed artboard. And over here in our interactions panel, I can edit the timeline. All of the layers in your animation, in your interaction between two artboards is all the same. So we set that 0.5 second duration. You can see that all of our groups and layers start and end at the same time. So to achieve that, that sort of fly in, that late fly in effect, we just need to adjust that text layer to start flying in a little after the background. So if we go into our menu group, we can click on our text layer and we want to grab the start frame here and we'll just drag it to the middle. You can get precise if you want, 0.25. Now, if you grab this pink little nib here, click and drag, you can scrub slowly through your animation. You can even see in detail how the menu icon lines are being animated. So you can see that the text is a little bit off screen, so it's already moving at this point, but you can see the difference, right, in how the text flies in a bit quicker and a bit after the background starts to animate. And if we drag this back to the beginning, you can see how much of a difference that makes, right? Do it again, 0.25. And I just think it, it makes the animation a little bit more fun. Like I said, it, it draws your eye to those text links because they animate a bit quicker and a bit later. So now let's exit our timeline, go back to our feed and let's just preview the whole thing. Click on the menu icon and there we go. A really fun, quick way to animate one of your mockups, one of your prototypes and add a little bit more visual interest to your work. I will link this entire studio file down in the description below. If you want to see how to recreate something else in Envision Studio, uh, please let me know down in the comments below. This is a very beginner tutorial, uh, very basic animations, but you can see how understanding how studio handles animations between one screen and another, you can really use these basic animations as building blocks for more complicated animations, really deep diving into your timeline editor. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next one.